Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my video. I really appreciate you guys supporting me on my YouTube channel. I have a small following, but I have a terrific following. People out there really need support in sobriety. And that's what this channel is about. An alcohol-free life, we talk about sobriety here. We talk about the ups and downs of getting sober. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I'm not a psychiatrist or a psychologist. I'm just a guy who got sober a couple of decades ago and want to share my experience, strength, and hope with everybody out there because it, we need to do that. We need to help each other, support each other. If you're thinking about getting sober, if you're in sobriety right now, if you're in your journey of recovery and you're having a hard time or you're having a great time, you're watching this video just to get some more information or just see what's going on on YouTube, you know, stick to it. Kudos to you. One day of sobriety is a miracle for people like you and me. Because I tell you, I didn't think I could get through one hour of sobriety when I first sobered up. So hang in there, okay? Hang in there. And if you got a second, subscribe to my channel. If you can take another second, hit that like button, okay? The name of my channel is an alcohol-free life channel. That's what it's about. Alcohol-free. We're living free from alcohol. That's what we're doing here, folks. And we're doing it one day at a time. Okay, so let's get to the video. Let's forget about the small talk. What I want to talk about in this video is something, you know, very simple, very, very simple that helped me a lot in early recovery. In early recovery, I just want to explain first what I was like in early recovery. My emotions were all over the place. I had highs and lows like mountains and valleys of emotional, sometimes distress, sometimes feeling anxious, but my emotions were all over the place. My mind was crazy too. It was racing like crazy. I couldn't sit down. I couldn't focus. I couldn't do a lot of things in early recovery. I really couldn't. I wasn't capable of doing things because I was too nuts. I was too nuts. To boot it, to boot it, to top it all off, I ended up in jail in early recovery. <laughs> I don't know about you, but when you end up in jail and you're sober, you know, things are pretty, pretty bad, right? I, I can't even get sobriety. I can't even clean up my act. My emotions and my mind are so out of whack. I end up spending a couple nights in jail because my big mouth threatening somebody. That's what I did. I threatened to beat somebody up. Imagine that, eh? Trying to get your life in order and I'm still acting like that. My emotions, things were, it was crazy. And I was thinking too much. I was... I was too emotional at that time, but I remember hearing a very, very simple thing in recovery that really helped me a lot. And it may help you, it may not help you, but it did for me. It was simply like this. In psycholo psychology, they believe that if you change the mind, the behavior will change. That's what cognitive therapy basically is, right? If we can get the person to, to change the way they think, their behavior will change. And it's a great way and it works and it's a very popular way of doing therapy nowadays. Cognitive therapy, it's right up there, right? But a guy in AA told me, we're kind of the opposite. And I'm going, what do you mean we're kind of the opposite? And he goes, what we believe, or what he believed at the time, was he said, bring the body and the mind will follow. It's the opposite, both ways work. But AA is kind of like that, right? Keeping it really simple. Change my behavior. And my way of thinking will change. Just change my behavior. Instead of not, you know, instead of mouthing off somebody, just, just shut up. Do that kind of stuff. And I start feeling better about myself. Not instantaneously. I started to change my behavior. I started to take risks. I started to exercise. I started to do a lot of things that were very positive for me in a behavioral way because my mind always played tricks on me. In my emotions, I felt like a victim. I felt worthless. I felt lower than a, than a snail sort of deal would play havoc with me. But that thing always came in my head. That, that statement always came in my mind. Terry, show up. Bring the body and the mind will follow. And I do that to this day. When I don't feel like doing something or I feel anxious or afraid, bring the body 
and the mind will follow. In an early recovery, that was the best thing somebody ever told me. It's very simple and some of you are gonna say, uh, the hell with you, Terry G, but it is. Those days while you're feeling low, those days that are not great, those days that you don't feel like doing something or you got a resentment going on, show up, follow through with a meeting, bring the body and the mind will change. I don't know about you, but every time I go to a meeting of recovery, I feel better after I, I you know, after the meeting's over. I really do. I feel a sense of accomplishment. When I don't feel like going to the gym or don't feel like going to that family event, I feel better after I've done it. Because my mind and my emotions will get in the way of a better life for me. But the behavioral way of doing things, just showing up, suiting up and showing up works a lot better for me when things aren't going so great for me. They really do. And in early sobriety, that helped me a lot. In spite of myself, I would show up at a 12-step meeting and participate or somebody asked me to do something, but I always felt better. In spite of myself, I took the action in spite of myself to make me better. I didn't want to do it. I didn't think I could do it, but I did it anyways. And it always made me feel better. So if you're having difficulties, if you think that you can't do your sobriety, if you think you're having a rough time, or you feel low, just get off your duff and go to a meeting. Get off your duff and phone somebody. Do something, change your behavior. You change your behavior, the way you think will follow. Guarantee it, it really will. It was a lot easier way for me to do it in sobriety, it really was. Like I said, psychologists believe, change the thinking, the behavior will change. Beha AA says, change the behavior and the mind will change. That's why service, taking action in recovery is so important to us because it changes the way we think. And usually that change is a positive change for us. It really is. That's why we say helping other people helps us more because the behavior creates a positive outcome for us. It really does, okay? It really does. I love AA. I love it. It's done a world of good for me. It really has. And like I said, whatever recovery program you're involved with, whatever one, and if it's working for you, that's the right one to be in. 12-step Alcoholics Anonymous does not have the corner on recovery. There's a lot of different ways of getting sobriety. There really is. And in this channel, I mainly talk about 12 steps. I mainly talk about my encounters in life and what I encounter in life and my journey of recovery. But let me tell you something, if you're sober today, kudos to you, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great, great job, okay? So that's it, folks. Change your behavior, change your thinking, okay? Keep up the good work. I hope you like this video. I really do. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but I really hope you like it, okay? And uh, if you do, subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. If you really like it, hit that like button. I'd really appreciate that too, okay? This is an, al an, al an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time, okay? We learn to live sober here. Sobriety is a team sport. It really is. It's not, there's no I in team. And sobriety is a team sport. We need each other to stay sober. Stay, okay, folks? So stay safe, stay sober together we are strong. Together, we are strong, okay? I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next week. Ciao for now.